The existence of metrics of positive scalar curvature, or PSC metrics for short, on closed manifolds is a well-studied problem. We have a complete understanding in dimension 2, due to the gauss bonnet theorem, in dimension 3, due to results by Gromov and Lawson combined with Perelman's resolution of the geometrization conjecture, and in dimensions at least 5, if the manifold is simply connected, due to results by Gromov, Lawson and Stolz. The general case is still under active investigation. If the manifold is connected and has a non-empty boundary, Gromov's H-principle implies that the problem is unobstructed. One can even find a metric with positive sectional curvature. So we need to add geometric conditions on the boundary to get an interesting problem. There are many options to do this. We can demand that the mean curvature of the boundary is non-negative or zero or strictly positive. Or we may ask for the second fundamental form to be positive semi-definite or positive definite or zero. In other words, the boundary is totally geodesic. We can also look for metrics which are doubling in the sense that the induced metric on the double of the manifold is smooth across the boundary. Another popular boundary condition even demands that the metric is of product form near the boundary. It turns out that most of these boundary conditions are equivalent in the following sense. Considering the spaces of PSC metrics on a compact manifold with boundary, satisfying one of these boundary conditions, we prove that the inclusion maps in the diagram displayed behind us induce isomorphisms on all homotopy groups of these spaces. In particular, if one of these spaces is empty, then all of them are empty. But much more is true. For instance, if there exists a PSC metric, such that the boundary has non-negative mean curvature, then this metric can be deformed through such metrics into a doubling PSC metric. We show by example that these spaces of metrics have non-trivial homotopy groups in general. You will have noticed that the product boundary condition is missing in the diagram. Indeed, there are examples which carry doubling PSC metrics, but no product PSC metrics. This changes if in addition we demand that the boundary also has positive scalar curvature. Using the atia patodi singer index theorem, we show that any metric on an area enlargeable compact manifold with non-negative scalar curvature and with a boundary of non-negative mean curvature must actually be Ricci flat and have minimal boundary. In particular, there are no PSC metrics with mean convex boundary on such manifolds. On a technical level, most of these results are based on a general deformation theorem, which works in much greater generality. We can replace the lower bound of zero for the scalar and mean curvatures by continuous functions which may be negative. We can decrease the mean curvature of the boundary while preserving a lower scalar curvature bound. And the deformations exist in families and in a relative setting.